And now we're going to do the four scale and one armed lever, which in some of your manuals is mistitled as the four scale and type one lever. But you'll know you're doing the same experiment as me if it's workshop number 11. And workshop number 11 is actually not a type one lever, it's actually a type two lever. So just to clarify, this is the four scale and one armed lever which is actually a type two lever. And for those of you who already did the four scale and two armed lever, you can fast forward through some of the following instructions. And for those of you who didn't and don't have this set up yet, we're gonna start from yeah. the beginning. So you're gonna need the Newton scale from your die cut sheet. Stick a shaft plug into it in the bottom square hole like this and then let's get a base plate one large frame on one side and another large frame on the other side and we're going to take one short rod use a medium rod first stick a small gear all the way to the stop then put it in the bottom hole and stick another small gear then we're actually going to push this through so that it's sticking out like this. All right, and then we're going to take a long axle. We're gonna stick it through the fifth hole in one of the frames. So count one, two, three, four, five, and stick it through there. Then it's gonna go through the second hole. Then it's gonna go through a small gear. Then the top hole on your scale then through the fifth hole in the opposite frame, and then through a small gear again. So it looks like this. Take another long axle. This time the axle stop will be on this, this side. Again, go through the fifth hole. So one, two, three, four, five. Stick it through, then stick a small pulley wheel. Then again, stick it through the fifth hole on the other side then through a small gear again. Take another long axle, stick it through the second to bottom hole on the bottom of the frame, stick it through a small pulley wheel like this, then stick it through the second to most bottom hole again in the other frame, and then another small gear. So there's two small gears right here, two small pulley wheels right here, and then this whole setup right here. Then we're gonna stick a short rod across the top. So you can stick two anchor pins in the middle holes of both frames, and then just stick a short rod. We still have a short axle. We need to stick in the very top hole right here. And we can stick an axle stop on the side that doesn't have the naturally built-in stop so that it'll stay where it is. So now we have this part. Now we're going to need some more base plates. One more. Okay, so once you're here, you can add a small axle to the very top hole of this short rod in the front. And you can stick an axle stop on the other side on one side so that it stays where it is. And you're gonna take your string, take the end of your string, and you're gonna tie it onto that short axle that we just added, this one right here. So tie it around the short axle in the same way that you see in image number one. And then you're gonna take the string and just bring it all through, through here. Okay. We're actually not going to be using these two, so don't worry if you don't have them. Take two short frames and place them on the base plate in the same way that you see in the second picture. Then you're going to take a long axle and stick a small gear towards stop 
then stick it through the fourth hole on the back of the short frame. So one, two, three, four. Stick it through. Then you're going to stick it through a short rod, the, fir the first hole of a short rod, like this. And then stick it through the other side of the frame. And then you can stick an axle on it so that it doesn't move. On the short rod, this one right here, you're going to skip two holes and then stick a shaft pin in there so it looks like this. Then you're going to take a rubber band, stick a battery like this, take one of the ends of the rubber band and stick it through the other one, and then you're going to stick it on the shaft pin. Like that. Okay, then you're going to take two tall rods and you're going to place them on the fifth hole from the back. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, right here. And the same story on the other side. So it looks like this. You want to make sure that you have the correct orientation of these long rods. So you want the side with the hole that's farther from the top, the first hole, to be facing the back. Then you're actually going to lift this up for a second, take the medium pulley, use the side with the stop on it, stick it in the third hole, then stick the medium pulley on it, then put it right back where it was, and then stick it through the third hole on the other long rod. You're actually going to add one more piece to this short rod though, you're going to add another another shaft pin in the last hole. So now you're going to take the string all the way from the front, you're going to bring it around the medium pulley in the back, and then you're going to find the end of your string here in this tangled mess you probably have. Find the end of that string, stick it through this shaft pin, through the back of it, and out the front, so that it's coming through, like so. So the only pulley it's going around is this one in the back. But we forgot one thing, and that is the shaft plug that's in the Newton scale, you have to fit it in to the frame so that it stands, so that it stays here. Okay, now you pull, you can pull on the string. And you can see what it's doing to the Newton scale. <laughs> so that's your force scale and type one lever.